Let's jump into the first official main topic today. And the first main topic today comes to us from Kate Reed, who writes, I recently saw Mission Impossible Fallout and loved it. Do you see it doing any difference in Henry Cavill's career? It was new seeing him play that type of a role, but if I'm correct, I don't think previous co-stars of past Mission Impossible films got a ton of work for being in that franchise. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, what do you think? All right, thanks a lot for the question, Kate. And look, it can certainly be said that it's never a bad thing to appear in a popular and beloved. It is a bad thing to appear in a successful but widely hated movie. That might be bad for your career. But basically speaking, there's no real downside to being one of the stars of a very successful and very beloved film. There's not really a downside to that. However, does that automatically mean if you're a supporting character, and that's what Henry Cavill is in this movie, he's, he's playing a supporting character. Does that automatically mean that if you're playing a supporting character in a big, popular, successful movie, that that automatically means good things for your career? Well, Kate, you pointed out yourself in your email, you're absolutely right. We could start listing off a big laundry list of people who have appeared in movies. Look, Jeremy Renner's career, he was already successful. Did it take off even more because he was in the Mission Impossible franchise? No, not really. Has Simon Pegg's career really skyrocketed after being because of being in Mission Impossible? No, not really. And honestly, I really don't see any reason to believe that Henry Cavill's career is going to take a big step up because of the Mission Impossible franchise. What Mission Impossible has really done, it's really done more for Tom Cruise than anybody else. And rightly so. It's his franchise. He's the main lead guy in it. And he's the one doing all these ridiculous stunts in these movies at the same time. On top of that, as big of a fan as I am of Henry Cavill, and you guys know how much I love Henry Cavill, um, I, I honestly didn't think his performance in, um, in Mission Impossible Fallout was like the highlight of his resume. I, I really, I thought he was very, I thought he was solid in it. I thought he was perfectly fine. No problems with his performance in it. But at the same time, it's not like some other supporting performances we've seen from actors in different movies where they like practically steal the movie. I thought Henry Cavill did perfectly fine. He did his job. He delivered. He made his character, you know, investable and it works. But was it the type of performance that you sit back and go, oh my gosh, did you see Henry Cavill in that? That's a game changer. I don't think it was one of those for his, for him. And even if it was, I'm not sure that being an Mission Impossible film will do that because as you pointed out, Kate, there's just no track record for that. So I'm of the opinion right now that no, I really don't think it's going to do all that much for Henry Cavill's career. At the same time, I certainly don't think it's going to hurt his career either. Again, it's never a bad thing to appear in a popular and successful movie that is beloved. And Mission Impossible Fallout checks all those boxes, so it's not a bad thing. We'll just have to see where it goes. What's going to be really interesting now is to see if he gets the James Bond role. That's going to be the interesting thing, because Daniel Craig we know is going to be hanging it up here pretty soon. And we know that Henry Cavill was the runner-up to Daniel Craig to becoming James Bond back when Daniel Craig became Bond in Casino Royale. It was almost Henry Cavill's role. He's always wanted it since then. His name has only gotten more high profile since. Let's keep an eye on that and see where that goes. All right, with that down, let's move on to the second topic. And the second...